Now for this first part, we're given that f of x then equals 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4 and asked to the find the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 1. And to do this, I can think of two ways of getting that remainder. One is very quick, it's using the remainder theorem and the other one is by algebraic long division. And I'll show you both methods, but we'll start with the remainder theorem first of all. If we're to divide something by, say, x minus 1 and work out what that remainder is, all we need to do is put this equal to 0. If we did x minus 1 equals 0, x would equal 1. And that means that we get the remainder when we do f of 1. If you're unsure of this, just go on my website, have a look at the tutorials on the remainder theorem. So we can start then by just saying that the remainder, since they want to know what that is, the remainder equals f of 1. So if we substitute 1 in for x, we've got 2 times 1 cubed, minus 7 times 1 squared, minus 5 times 1, plus 4. And if you work that out, you get minus 6. So our remainder then equals minus 6. Now, the other way then, I said, was algebraic long division. What we do is we divide x minus 1 into f of x. And that gives us 2x cubed here, minus 7x squared, minus 5x plus 4. And if you're unsure of algebraic long division, again, go on my website and look in the index under algebraic long division or on your module. Now, to do this then, we just need to find a value that we multiply the x by then to give 2x cubed, which is going to be 2x squared. 2x squared now, multiplied by x and the minus 1, gives us 2x cubed and 2x squared times the minus 1 is minus 2x squared. We subtract now to find out what the remainder is. So we get 0 here, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that gives us 0. And then we've got minus 7x squared minus minus 2x squared, which gives minus 5x squared. So put that there, bring down the next term, minus 5x, and we start all over again. What do you multiply this x by to give minus 5x squared? Well, it's going to be minus 5x, so put that up there, and multiply minus 5x with x minus 1. Minus 5x times x is minus 5x squared. Minus 5x times the minus 1 is plus 5x. And again, if we were to subtract, to work out what that remainder was, then we have minus 5x squared minus minus 5x squared gives us 0. And minus 5x here, minus plus 5x is minus 10x. Finally, we bring down the next term here, plus 4. And we start all over again. What do you multiply this x by to get minus 10x? Well, it's going to be minus 10. So minus 10 times the x is minus 10x. And then minus 10 times the minus 1 is plus 10. And we subtract to find out what the remainder is. So minus 10x minus minus 10x is 0. And now we've got plus 4 minus plus 10, which gives us minus 6. So therefore, that remainder, OK, let's just write that in, the remainder equals minus 6. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then how you could go about this particular problem. All right.